Yeah, I felt like I woke <laughs> up in a volcano. What's up, P Nation? Today is a very long day. We have a lot to do. Yes. So first we're taking a ferry from Shargao to Surigao. And then we're in Surigao for like six hours. And then we're taking an overnight ferry from Surigao all the way to Cebu. And we'll get in Cebu City at like 3 a.m. So we have a lot to do today. It's be super interesting. We have an economy <laughs> yeah. class ticket, meaning that we're just like kind of on the roof in the non-air conditioned bunk beds. So yeah. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to show you guys what that looks like. It's sure to be an adventure. <laughs> There goes our tuk-tuk. Bye! Woo. We made it here to Dapa. We are now wondering when the next ferry leaves. We have no idea. Hopefully it's in the next two hours because we gotta get to the next ferry. So we'll see how this goes. Well, you can see Leah's pillow in there. She's trying to buy a ticket. I think she got the tickets. Did you get the tickets? When does it leave? Uh, 11.30. What? Get on there. We did it! <laughs> okay, somehow we planned this out perfectly. It is 11 o'clock now. Our boat, our boat leaves at 11.30 to Surigao. It takes two hours and we got air conditioning. Ah! Made it on. We're in the back, but we have this air conditioner that's going to be the entire time because our next show is not the air conditioning. <laughs> City. That's our boat. Where? Oh, that one? Yeah. The little one we just got off. That's our boat for tonight. Look over there. The boat behind me is the one that we're taking tonight overnight. We're be sleeping on the top floor yeah. without AC. It will be an experience. I don't even That's know if we'll right. be able to sleep, but <laughs> it is also really nice to travel during the day because the water is so blue here in the Philippines oh, and beautiful. the mountains are, it's just like so beautiful. It's very different from traveling other places where you're just caught in the trees and you can't even yeah. look out the window. And we just like being on the water, so it's more fun. <laughs> Okay, so we have made it to the city center, and because we have a six hour layover before our next ferry leaves, we are going to... Deli B! Which is the Philippine version of McDonald's, and it was, we hear that it's supposed to be amazing, and we yes. haven't tried it yet. We have all this pent up energy, we wanna eat everything. So it's gonna be a video in itself, so if you wanna see us eat lunch at yes. Jelly Bee and try Filipino McDonald's, we'll link it up here. Yay! A little nervous, a little excited. Okay. So we were just hanging out in a Jollibee for like three hours before our ferry. Now we're walking back to the port so we can get on our ferry and get all the way to Cebu City. Okay, plan B, we're not walking anymore. We're gonna get a tuk-tuk because they actually know where they're going. We found one. I thought my bag was me, we almost got left. <laughs> that was definitely a lot easier than walking. Leah is getting us some water for the road. Okay, two things you want to go over with you. The first one is, it is not crowded here. Last ferry we were on, as you can see in this clip I'm about to put in now, Woo. 
that was crazy. Yeah. It was like so many people, it was so hot, we didn't know where we were going. And thing number two is all we have is this random slip of paper that we got from an island convenience store. So I don't really know if our tickets are verified. Must pay the terminal tax first. Scout Zach making sure our stuff doesn't move during our voyage. So we got here early and while we still have time, I'm trying to show you guys a boat tour of what this boat looks like. So Leah's gonna take you on that now. Hi. So we have seating in the back on top of the boat. It's not reserved, it's just for everybody's use. We have economy level A, which is where we are staying. Lots of bunk beds for lots of travelers. Here's the bathroom situation. Lots of sinks. And a toilet. It's pretty good actually. It's better than I expected. There's even more economy seating on a lower deck. And if you spend a little bit more money, you can get air conditioning. Ooh. And they have nicer bathrooms. But what's nice is that you have air-conditioned space. <laughs> Zach and I stayed in one of those on our way here, and it was quite nice. But there were bugs everywhere, and that was not so nice. I'm not sure how close we'll be able to get to these, but they actually have rooms that you can rent on the boat, and they're probably down here. I think up here are the really nice places to stay with their own bathroom and everything. We just can't go up there. So this time they only had economy seating. It is literally like $4 cheaper than the tourist seating, which has air conditioning. It's not that much big of a price difference, but if you're on a budget. It actually might be pretty nice here. The wind is really nice. It's not overcrowded yet, so an hour for people to board. But it could be pretty nice. It could sleep pretty well.
I think everything might work out. I think we snagged a grab driver before everyone else did. So it might be our lucky day. <laughs> but we still don't know if the hotel's open. Wow, there's literally one grab. And we got this one. He's waiting for us. Hello! Just made it. We are here, and I think there are people in this hotel waiting for us that waited all night. <gasps> And he turned the TV on for us? <laughs> We're so sweaty and tired and just exhausted. And this is like marvelous. Whew, and that is it. Thank you guys so, so much for following us on this crazy day. Our ferry there was very bad, but this one might have been more interesting. So yeah. I'm glad we filmed this day. Yeah, me too. It was fun, even though it was hot. Yeah, I felt like I woke <laughs> up in a volcano three times and I just... I will never sleep the same again, but other than that, today was amazing, and she definitely took a ferry if you ever come to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Thank God for neck pillows. Jeez. They don't know anything about babies.